All right. It is December 3rd, 5.30 in the morning-ish. Grant the intern. What is up? We're looking for a mature deer. We're gonna climb into the woods here. Uh, it's been tough, it's been a grind. I'm exhausted, I'm tired. Maybe a little too much yesterday. So we're going to hit the road. We're gonna try to sneak in, sit in the tree stand, and we're looking for a shooter today. We're looking for a shooter any day. We'd really like to get one this weekend. And then I can sleep. Alright, so it's about 45, 50 minutes till shooting hours. We just shared video vlog number two on social media for I didn't have to do it in the tree stand. Um, we're gonna crawl in here, probably stay till nine or 10, and hopefully we see a giant. There's a huge buck in here making scrapes, but if we don't see him, uh, hopefully we just pick something up on our cam to see what it actually is. We haven't even seen this deer on camera yet, but there just keeps being these fresh giant scrapes all over the place. So fingers crossed we see some deer and we get this unspooled video done. Mark Hunter can hunt tomorrow morning and I have a Christmas party tonight so we'll see how this all goes if we get uh, get this done. Alright we've sat out here most of the morning. Nothing done. and checked out the first can. We didn't see any apples that were eaten, so hopefully this one's got something on it. This is the one that's uh, been picking up deer already, so. What are you thinking, Ian? This is nuts. All right, we just sat the morning. We're trying to get unspooled finished, but uh, we never saw nothing again. But on the way in, uh, we have to walk uh, an old weed field, and we I'd never seen tracks in it, and today, it is just full of tracks. I mean, there's tracks on top of tracks. They're all fresh because on November 28th, I was here and there was no tracks at all through the field. So I'm starting to think maybe that we're pushing the deer past our stands when we walk in here in the morning. I did grab the trail cam um, SD card, so we're gonna check that out. But there was nothing here and, but, I believe there's a good possibility we're, we're pushing them past our tree stands in the morning walking in here. So comments, if you got an idea, they've never been out in this field again and there is enough tracks for 20 deer. All right, so, okay, we just got back from hunting. I did manage to grab the trail cam SD cards on the way out of there. We saw nothing again. And if there's nothing on these trail cams, I'm probably going to cry. Okay, there was a deer. Check that out. See that one second of the deer? And then oh, we were right behind it. We pushed that deer through. For sure we did. Oh, that was all, I didn't know that was all one thing. What's the time difference on that? An hour, and then us getting out of there. So one deer, 
couple That's... days ago. All right, so can number two, where Mark Hunter has been hunting. One video, and it is when All right, so I left off. We checked the deer camps. There was nothing on it. It was uh, it's heartbreaking. I'm telling you, this deer bull hunting whitetail is the most difficult thing I've ever done in my life. If you can shoot a big buck with your bow, you have the drive to catch any fish in the world or compete in any tournament on the planet. Uh, part of the doctor's orders. So, okay, let's let's be honest here. After I checked the cams, and I decided that I probably wasn't gonna hop in the tree stand tonight, uh, Grant went home, and I had a siesta on the couch, had a nap, a really good nap, because I was tuckered out. And now, the puppies and I Montana and Billy are on a walk, part of the doctor's orders when I saw him on Thursday is that I need to get out and walk more and exercise more basically because the last three months I didn't do anything and I'm out of shape. So it's all part of getting everything back to normal. So I don't know what we're doing this afternoon. We do have a Christmas party to go to at my friends Melanie and Brian. Went for a walk. Amber came home with Emma, who's my stepdaughter, and they went to a play. I was kind of vegging on the couch watching uh, TV. And then my one track mind got the best of me and I've come out here to where we park normally to deer hunt this property. I'm just gonna sit here in the truck and listen to Joe Rogan and I wanna know what comes out on those tracks. And basically, if they come out here before dark, it's, it's an hour before dark, I'm probably 250, 300 yards away from where the woods are. Basically, all I wanna do is see where they come out or if they're going in. And if it's in the evening or if they're standing out here at night, if I don't see them tonight, there's too many tracks for it to be all deer. They've been here a couple of evenings or mornings or sometime that I didn't pick up on. So maybe we'll get lucky and see a couple. The other thing you'll learn about this video blog series is uh, I have like a one track mind. When I get my mind on something, I set myself goals. And when I decide I'm going to do something, I really have a hard time doing anything else other than something towards that goal. So I was gonna sit at home, relax a little, and then I, I'm here, sitting in a truck, hoping to see a deer. And I don't even, I'm doing it like I'm, I'm not even hunting, I'm just looking to see a deer. The best advice I will tell everybody that I got this year in hunting is hunting is 80% scouting and 20% hunting. But I sat in with the other property right before. Shooting hours would end in about seven minutes. So I sat over there. I never saw anything come out of the woods or across the field. I'll run to the other property and I'll have a quick look just to see if there's anything actually out in the, the big field. And there's nothing here. Amber and uh, she'll be home from the show soon, so I better get home and get ready to party. All right, so it's December 4th last night. Uh, Amber and I went to uh, my friend Melanie and Brian's Christmas slash Brian's 50th birthday party. It was awesome to get out and see uh, my friends who I don't get to see very often. Got my new shades, ran into sale in Oshawa. It's usually where I go pick them up, pretty cheap. I'll lose a lot of pairs and I don't even know what we're doing with the rest of the day, but got sunglasses, fresh to death. I don't know where it goes from here. All right, it's uh, Sunday. I just pulling in here do a late night sit, well, Sunday evening sit, and I just saw something run across this field, but the sun was in my eyes, and I'm not sure if it was a coyote, but 
that's activity, that means they're up and walking. If it's a doe. We have fresh dough tracks. There's a ton of fresh dough tracks. Okay, boom. Just got back in from hunting, threw dinner on. Brand new SD card straight out of my trail cam. Noticed two new scrapes on the way out. I didn't see any deer, but there's lots of sign. There's lots of fresh trail. Nothing on here, no deer. Video of raccoon again and me. That's tonight. So I don't know if to the left of where I'm standing right now, there's two brand new scrapes, maybe 50 yards away. So. I don't get it at all. There's been no movement. The field is covered in fresh tracks. I just don't get it. I don't, I don't, I don't know. If you got any comments, throw them down below. Let me know what you're thinking. Well, it's been a long day. Amber and I are just going to hang with the dogs watch a movie, get some sleep, I'm tired. Uh, I've been uh, chatting with Nick Pugin. He's given me some great advice on uh, what to do to try to get some of those deer tracks, rubs, scrapes, but they just don't seem to be coming through past the tree stand, so I'll change it up tomorrow. Maybe I'll set up a ground blind on a new area just to do some scouting. So if I set that up in the morning, then Wednesday evening, Thursday, I can get back in the stand. Muzzle loader opens, so there'll be all kinds of guys out in uh, the next couple of days hunting. So, December 4th, we'll see what happens tomorrow.